Hi, welcome to CPaaS, CAPS Payroll's production accounting software. In this video, I'll be walking you through a number of tips on how to get around CPaaS and a few tricks to make your production accounting life a little easier. Upon logging in, the home page is broken into four sections to help you get your bearings. The toolbar, the navigation bar on the left, the accounting periods and project summary in the center, and the action links and accounts list on the right. Depending on your access and permissions, some of these sections may not be visible. The toolbar, which will always be visible from anywhere in CPaaS, provides a confirmation of who is logged in, a drop-down to switch to another production without the need to log out and back in, a link to the home page, a link to personal preferences, a support window with the CPaaS support team contact info, as well as a knowledge base, and lastly, the logout icon. The center provides insight into the current, next, and last accounting periods, and a summary of the cost manager listed by budget with a consolidated total. Clicking the accounting periods will take you to the period control module, and clicking the project summary lines will open the cost manager with the selected budget. While we're at it, clicking an account amount in one of the cost columns drills down to reveal links to all transactions that hit that account. The right-hand section provides action links to items like unposted transactions or checks needing to be printed, as well as your bank, petty cash, and clearing accounts balances. Lastly, on the left, the navigation bar starts with a global search field. Anything from vendors to detailed descriptions can be searched, as well as dollar amounts when entering numbers. In order to search for a specific transaction, a number sign can be entered before the number, and upon hitting enter, the transaction will open. Each header contains relevant menu items, and depending on the height of your browser window, additional items can be displayed by clicking on the triple arrow button. Upon going to either Accounts Payable, Petty Cash, Journal Entry, Credit Card, or Payroll, the first stop is the landing page. By default, these pages display unposted transactions for that module. However, simply clicking Show All displays all items for that module. The visible list can be narrowed with the search box, or through the column headers, which also provides sorting capabilities. The exact filter and sorting criteria can quickly be exported to Excel as an unformatted data dump. Clear the filters, or refresh the screen for up-to-date changes. New transactions are created here while existing transactions can be edited or deleted upon highlighting. Vendor and transaction forms are typically broken into three sections, the header, footer, and distribution grid. When navigating the header, hitting Tab to go forward and Shift Tab to go backwards can save time by reducing mouse clicks from field to field. Incomplete required fields will highlight in red if they are not filled out. Almost every drop-down reveals a powerful combo box, where items can be created, edited, or even deleted. Typing the name of a vendor will narrow down the search list in real time. Then, using the keyboard arrows to make a selection, hitting Enter on the keyboard will insert it into the field. The combo box in account fields works identically and can be very useful when searching for an account by description. Notice that when searching for purchases, all departments show up, and simply arrowing down and hitting Enter will commit the account. While we're in the distribution grid, don't forget that columns can be sorted, filtered, and resized. In fact, CPaaS remembers the column widths you've adjusted, even after you've logged out and back in. The footer has a number of save options, making no assumptions about your workflow. You can save the current record without leaving or closing, save and create a new record, which opens a blank form, and even save and exit the entire record. Additionally, attachments like W-9s, invoices, petty cash receipts, or vendor contracts can be uploaded to existing records using any file type, up to 10 megabytes per item. And a transaction's entire timeline can be viewed on a whim, with links to related transactions, like POs, accounts payable, payroll, and checks. Distribution line changes made to posted transactions is as easy as opening the posted item, changing the account, and saving. In fact, conducting a DL change on payroll will automatically move any necessary fringes to the appropriate accounts, saving you a lot of time. 
Depending on the parameters established under Maintenance Project Details, the DL changes can be recorded and posted as soon as the changes have been saved. Upon reopening the transaction, the DL change can be found by clicking the link in the updated line. Notice the Labor and Fringe credits and debits. Click on the transaction timeline from within the journal entry and you're back in the payroll transaction. CPASS provides the ability to import files to any transaction type under Maintenance, Import Data. By clicking New, CAPS Payroll Files, Cache Petty Cash Files, and American Express Credit Card Files can be imported here. Additionally, all other transactions have a .xlsx template file that can be downloaded, modified, and uploaded using the New Import button. This makes recurring transactions easy to handle and track. CPASS even provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to download templates and upload files. Lastly, CPASS has a number of keyboard shortcuts that can be found by hitting Control question mark. Feel free to highlight, copy, and paste this list into a Word or Excel document for easy reference. If you have any questions, the question mark icon displays the CPASS support team's number and email, a chat session, and knowledge base for quick answers. Oh.